It isn't a reaction against anything that Sarah Palin or Newt Gingrich or any other Republican like that has made. I mean, we know that uh, they've made some very inflammatory statements against Islam, uh, implying that you know we shouldn't have religious freedom here in the United States until the uh, Saudis have that in their own country, uh, or suggesting that uh, there's something inherently offensive about people choosing their own uh, religion instead of what might be, you know, Sarah Palin's favored form of Christianity. Um, but actually, it was a Democrat, uh, an upstate New York congressman, uh, Michael Curie. Uh, and Michael Curie, uh, he did the funny thing of putting this issue back on the table. His opponent, Richard Hanna, had actually taken the issue off the table, said, it's just a matter of religious liberty, individual, whether there should be a mosque in Murfreesboro or uh, Manhattan, North Carolina, Connecticut, or some of the other places where right-wingers are trying to uh, force mosques uh, to close or blocking new mosques from being built. But then, after Richard Hanna said it was a matter of individual conscience, uh, the Democrat, uh, Mike Curie, went ahead and said that he thought that the mosque should be moved because there shouldn't be a new mosque allowed in some places. And um, that actually caused the Republican then to move to the right. That's a pretty significant thing. The Democrat causing the Republican to move to the right on an issue like this against our religious freedom. And it's a very bad sign, I think, for our culture. No, I, I don't actually hate Islam. Uh, that's just a rhetorical uh, flourish um, uh, device. Uh, knowing that many Americans do seem to hate Islam, uh, this bumper sticker asks them, I hope, to question whether their hate for Islam is so great that they're willing to sacrifice their constitutional freedoms. You know, they may not think about it that way in terms of their own constitutional freedoms, they may think they're just demanding that Muslims give up their freedoms. But, you know, when it comes to religious liberty, there's uh, no freedom for any of us, really, unless we all have freedom of conscience. You know, they may not choose to practice Islam, and neither do I. It's not to my taste. Um, neither is Christianity, by the way. But if we don't have the freedom to choose Islam over Christianity, over other religions, over no religion at all, uh, then that's really no freedom at all. Um, it's amazing to me that people who claim to be against the power of the big government, uh, in terms of things like pe helping people with health care, uh, or improving our nation's infrastructure, or uh, educating our children, are all too happy, it seems, to get the power of big government in to block people's choice, that very personal choice about what to believe. They want to make it impossible for people to actually practice Islam in some places in this country. That's worrisome to me. So, I hate intolerance much more than I hate Islam. I don't actually really hate Islam at all even though it's not to my taste. It's not my business what religion other people choose to practice.